What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar, <clears throat> and I got a doctor's appointment today, so we got to make a quick one. Uh, you know, with all the Destiny stuff been going on, we got to check in on and see what they got going on. Bro, I ain't played Destiny in a minute. With all the shit going on, and Astrocross made a video said we need a future again in Destiny, and so we finna check this out real quick, react to it, and then uh going by that day and i promise you I, i'm gonna try to get back to streaming this week i just gotta get sit, sit, situated on my end bro like doctor's appointments and stuff since i was in the hospital all this shit going on oh please like comment subscribe y'all please get your boy back on track we are way i'm way off track i know most of y'all don't care but i gotta get back to it man i ain't gonna never hit my goal you know what i'm saying but uh like i'm losing subscribers can y'all please get get me back in the rotation somebody share a video like it something i need something to pop off bro if you love me you do it for me please share but uh all my destiny folks let's uh let's see what the bros got going on let's see what's going on in the world of destiny and uh let's get to it First up, I am so proud of what the final shape accomplished. And yes. nothing here on the Steam charts will take any of that away. What Bungie yes. accomplished with the final shape went way beyond anything I ever expected. I was probably the biggest hater last year. I constantly was saying things like, there's no way to find. Before he gets into it, bro, if you was a Destiny fan last year when, when uh, Life All dropped, dude, like there was no hope, bro nobody had hope i had hope just because of the lore stuff they 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 pulled that damn expansion out they ass yes but the fact that they used people from the lore that i i loved and you know with nizarak and all that i was in love with it you know what i'm saying you know so lore wise you know the story was whatever i wanted neil i thought neil moon was gonna be this dope ass location but it is what it is we all know how it panned out but anyway but yes, last year was very bleak. But I'd rather much be last year than what's going on now. Now it's like it's no hope. Like we're out of it. Like I've been playing Call of Duty, bro. Like I've been like I haven't played Destiny just because of all the shit that's been going on. There's nobody on Destiny no more. Nobody raid, nobody none. Bro, I've been on Call of Duty, bro. I've been playing Call of Duty, which is crazy. I never would have thought I'd go back to Call of Duty, ever. Like, I buy Call of Duty for the story and play with the little bros. And that's it, bro. After that, I'm done. But I've been on Call of Duty nonstop. It's crazy, bro. And then they, the skins and stuff, like Call of Duty. I've been out of the world of Call of Duty for so long. The fact that they put the Gundam skins in there, bro. I, I'm eating good on Call of Duty right now. And that's sad as a Destiny fan. Like, I'm hurting, bro. That's so sad to say, but. Final <sighs> Shape it. is going to be able to pull this off. Oh, Narratively, shit. things aren't going to make sense. We're not going to get a new subclass, a new enemy type. And we did. We got all those things. Despite that being the case, we are hitting some, some pretty low lows, guys. Like some pretty low lows. And what's even more concerning is, is just the dip off. We had an you know, explosion of average players throughout June playing the final shape. And then just this massive dip off in July and a continuation of that dip off here in August. And I know, like, I'm like, I've been called out so many times as being like the guy who comes in Doomsday Post all the time. And here I am again, doing it again. And like, let me just ask you guys, because if y'all think things are fine, I'm going to shut the hell up. And we're just, we're going to go back to game. Do you feel like sentiment within the Destiny community right now, is it at an all-time low? Or is, is, it, is it just one of the, I mean, not any low is a bad low, but is it at an, an all-time low? I can't tell you how many times we've put out a weapon review or a guide. And dude, I get a wave of comments from people who are like, what, what's the point of doing that now? And that's because I really feel like we're in a similar situation to what Marvel found themselves in after Thanos was killed spoilers but i mean like after Thanos was killed i do believe that like the they just dropped an exotic and this is the first time i haven't got on there to do the exotic quest i haven't done anything i haven't done the story nothing like once once the witness got killed i found myself lost like after i bought my raid jacket i was just like damn like 
it's over. And then all the stuff when you, like it's one thing to feel like it's over and thinking we're finna start a new saga. But to feel like it's over, then everybody get fired, all the layoffs happen, and then all this stuff just started coming out. It was like, bro, it it made you feel like it really is over. Like, like what is the point? Like I like I've been bro, I've been back all only online game I've been playing is Call of Duty. Other than that, I've been going back to like all my old single player games, bro. I don't play every persona. I'm on Persona 3 right now, reload. I play I play four, five. I've been that's all I've been doing, bro. Is playing the persona games. I've been going back playing uh fucking all my RP, RPG games. I've been finishing up the uh RPG uh the DLC for Final Fantasy 16. Like it's just I have that that urge to play Destiny is gone. Like if I feel, if I want to shoot shit, I literally get on Call of Duty, bro. Which is even which is blasphemy to say that. Like I would have thought I would have went back to Halo, but no, bro. Like black and then the fact that Black Ops Six is about to drop. Like I'm a, I love Black Ops. Like Black Ops was my game. I love Black Ops and and it's just like nothing. I don't I don't know bro it's like a part of my heart is missing now like I'm at a loss uh, I don't have nothing nothing to play nobody to play like the bros I have no friends to play with online like nobody in destiny hits me up like it's just weird like it's a weird time and I'm talking from like I'm a super destiny fan you know what I'm saying and like content creation of destiny like i don't watch none of the lore videos i ain't seen nothing bro it's really really sad and i and i uh, like bro like if y'all seen my streams y'all just know how much i love destiny how much i love the lore how much i would just watch everything destiny and now it's just nothing bro it's crazy Killed. Did anybody really care about the Avengers? The big bad was defeated. The witness was defeated. And I remember like whenever, you know, the last Avengers movie was over, Endgame was over, it was just like, all right, I'm done. I literally was like done. And then I remember seeing like the trailers for Eternals and whatever else. And I was like, eh, I'm good. And guys, I haven't really sat down and watched a Marvel movie yeah. not, since probably, probably Avengers. I feel like we're in a similar. Yeah, once, once uh, I saw, once I saw no way home that was it for me for marvel like i go see a marvel movie just because i'm a marvel fan like I, i'm still a comic book fan but I, i'm only went to go see like the comic books that i love like i saw dr strange captain marvel and i just seen deadpool i haven't seen anything else i don't even know what's been out i ain't even seen no trailer i think i i, I i'm i heard that I've been waiting on the Iron Heart just because I love like the Iron the Iron Man family. Any of that their stuff I'm gonna watch. I've been wanting the Iron Heart. I thought it was gonna do a show. They canceled the show. I don't even know what's going on with Iron Heart. Nothing. So like, he's right, bro. Like I really feel like, except it's worse because, you know, with the Marvel movies, you know, there were movies, so like you had to wait. But with the video game, I used to get on Disney every day, bro. And it's nothing. A situation with the Destiny universe. Even even way back in Beyond Lights, there was always like that bad, that bad that we're working toward. The pyramid ships. Who is this race of enemies that we are approaching? Who is this witness? And we were working toward that. And and now we've kind of just that's gone. That's done. And I know like the the lore implications and the raid were huge because we found out from that that the witness was not the winner. The winner even sent us a message. My concern is that things are just, I feel like things are very slow moving right now. And I feel like sentiment is at an all time low. And I'm just concerned that things are going to just keep treading lower before Bungie's like, hey, here's our plans for the future. And dare I say, here's our next saga. The winner is not a physical entity. Dude, man, we don't really know. We don't really know. And that that's that's the job of uh, the creative leads and, and the narrative team to, to pitch us on that. Yeah, dude, we need... We need a future video, man. 
We need, uh, we need, because look, man, I love Destiny. God, I love this game. I mean, I, I think the gameplay is fantastic. I love the ability to go between PV and PVP. I, I feel like we just, we, we have so many options. I mean, which is, as a gamer, that's great. We have so many options to, uh, of different games to play today. But, um, you know, on the PVP side of things, you've got tons of other games to give a go. Black Ops is actually doing pretty good. I don't know how it's going to be a launch, but it's doing pretty good in the beta. I think, you know, trial numbers this past weekend, let's, let's pull that up real quick. I think trial numbers are terrible. So trial Trials report this weekend. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Oh man, dude, it's it's fifty five thousand players. Holy shit! Oh, let me let me just let me just pull this up. All weeks right now. All right, so one hundred twelve thousand last week. Okay, week before one hundred nine thousand, one hundred nineteen thousand. 122,000, 144,000. Okay, we're we're halfway through Sunday right now and we're at 55,000 players, man. Good god. Yeah, and again a lot of that is due to the fact that Black Ops is out and everybody's probably playing the beta right now. PVP players are playing the beta. And so, dude, the numbers are just trending incredibly low on all fronts. And again, I know this from just our own analytics and just from you guys commenting on YouTube videos. A lot of people are just asking, you know, what's the point? What's the point of getting Choir of One? I mean, in my eyes, I'm like, "Oh, it's a fantastic exotic." And it's super op but to a lot of other people you know you're like do i need this weapon for anything what's the point of grinding what's the point of obtaining more powerful gear and this is where i think story and narrative is important it gives you that context that reason for why you should so sooner rather than later i think it would be wise if bungie addressed this and gave us that why and god dog it i hope it's a good why you know i hope it's a good reason for all of us to continue to reinvest you know back in destiny for the future and like here's the thing i i think the episodes are good i think the episodes are actually pretty good i've been enjoying them i like the loots uh the cadence could be better but the cadence is supposed to be better next episode because we're gonna be able to dive in and do all the content right out the gates and and so i mean i'm looking forward to revenant a lot but the numbers don't reflect it okay so this is this is the beyond light background i have it as one of the wallpapers you know beyond light got a bad rap because of the imbalance that it brought to pvp but it was a spicy time man it was a november drop i enjoyed it i enjoyed the raid i enjoyed clovis I'm really care for what they did with clovis afterward but it was all right i mean we could roll with it but what i really liked is when y'all remember when bungie came out and said this is what we have coming over the next three years y'all remember when we got hit with like these these screenshot or th this this was the poster this was the main poster that i remember we got hit with y'all remember when we got hit with this and then and then eventually they added final shape this is when it was like oh wow okay bungie's cooking because it was like boom this is what's about to go down and that made it say as a community okay there's a lot more that's going to be happening here way beyond what we thought was it not hype as fuck? two of those dlcs were absolute ass okay first off which queen was definitely the best one out of these three yes beyond lights i i liked man yeah i didn't like getting shatter dived over and over again but i liked it lightfall love the quality of life changes hey say what you want beyond light brought me back bro say what you want bro that stream actually brought me back but when they announced uh, Sunset was going away, bruh, I came back full force during. And then they made it to where, that was the first year they made it to where, like, you could just play all the seasonal stuff that you missed, like, for the year. I was lit, bruh. I fucking, like, I loved Beyond Light because of how I played it. I didn't play it day one, so I wasn't in the, the you know, the month to month. But I played all of Beyond Light during that long ass season of the, was the season of the Lost? leading up to witch queen i came back the day season of the lost drop and i bought beyond light and i was boy it was amazing playing through all that god it was amazing i need another moment like that in destiny bro like just bro just story terrible absolutely terrible. hypest moment of destiny's life this was such an incredibly hype moment guys we need this back man bungie yeah. we need this back i honestly don't know what's you know may, may, maybe maybe there's you know internal struggles happening there but we need this man we need you guys to roll out and say this is the vision going forward let me let me ask you guys something if bungie rolled out and and like said hey this is our next three-year plan something along these lines would that be enough to interest you again in, in destiny yeah a lot of you guys are saying destiny 3. I, I let's let's take a few polls i'm gonna take a few polls in this in the stream right now would you rather a d3 <laughs> keep in mind bungie is not good at vanilla launches i'm, I'm just we're kind of 0 for 2. something always seems to go wrong would you rather a D3 or would you rather maybe Destiny drop the two? Maybe Destiny drop the two and Bungie says, hey, we're going to continue expanding this world and we're going full-blown MMO. Poll on that one. D3, drop the two. 
67% right now are saying, or 68% are saying right now, Destiny 3. All right, seems like majority of people here are voting for a D3. Hate to burst y'all's bubble, man. It ain't happening. With that being said, my, my concerns with a D3 is like, just again, the previous vanilla launch just weren't good. I think at the end of the day, whether it's a D3 or a Destiny Forever or whatever, we need this. We need to, we need to return to this. I want to wake up at some point in the next, you know, however long, hopefully soon. I want to see this. I want to see Bungie out in front of us going, hey, this is the future. This is the path we're going forward with. And an upgrade, real servers, all the stuff that's causing issues with the current game. Well, here's the thing. I still think that, I, I think the people that are working on Destiny right now, I think Tyson Green is, I mean, he's he's been there for like ever. He's got a good team with him. I think that they can, cook the, i think the real question is is bungie going to give him the funds necessary to cook are they going to give him the resources necessary to cook are they going to allow him and his team and and everyone else to continue to expand on the vision that we want destiny to be you know i'm not even going to get on the topic of marathon i know that that it, it's hard not to talk about marathon considering that, that like uh, i don't know how much of the studio is working on it but i'm saying it's like it's a it's a, it's a you know 50 50 split who knows i will say this that marathon has more competition than than destiny does like Destiny is trending down for sure. But if they came out and was like, hey, here's our here's our next three year plan or whatever. And then they got the, the, the story and the narrative that makes sense with it. They bring it intriguing content. They drop things like Pantheon. They do things like what they did with Into the Light. I think they're going to be good. Marathon, on the other hand, it's not that Marathon probably won't be a good game. It's just that, oh my God, you've got Tarkov. You've got Hunt Showdown. You've got Delta. You've got Gray. You've got that PUBG extraction shooter coming out. You've got Arc Raiders. The amount of extraction that are out and will be out is insane that like man marathon you could not have been coming out at a worse time and then on top of it you got gta which i know it's not a it's not a the gta is not an extraction but if you're any game you don't want to launch anywhere like you there's like a i would say a six month blast radius of gta where you just don't want to be close to now nah, gta bro is like a year maybe Again, I know you're going to, I know you guys are going to give me hell for it. You're going to say, oh man, don't bring it up. But here I am again saying the same shit I've been saying for forever. I feel like I'm watching Jagex here from over 10 years ago with RuneScape. Bungie making the same mistakes where they had a winning formula. They had a winning horse, the horse, the horse. And then they decided they were going to diversify, make all these other games, do evolution of combat. And then what happened, man? They blew up in their face. It blew up in their face. And then what they, what they came to realization right afterwards was, wow, a lot of people really like RuneScape. Perhaps we have something special here. What should we do? It's a crazy idea. Let's give them more RuneScape. Oh my God. And then all of a sudden we have old school RuneScape and things are blowing up. And unfortunately, we may have to go through this process, you know, before the higher ups at Bungie go, oh shit, you know, maybe Destiny is special. Maybe we need to just heavily invest continue to invest in uh destiny but they had a winning horse before halo bungie was never going to keep halo halo was always microsoft that was always going to be theirs halo was just something for bungie to make money gain their independence break away and then start destiny halo was never the end goal though yep okay that's it guys i know we kind of come off doomsday and i i've really been trying to avoid that here recently so i'm not going to say everything's doomed i don't believe everything's doomed i just i feel like sentiment in the community is, is a bit sour and uh i think that we need to be hyped and we need we need this level of hype back again we need uh a saga pitched to us we need a vision for what's to come for destiny and man it needs to be good slap that light not only that we need a saga but it needs to make sense well, i mean he said it like it needs to be something worth a damn because <clears throat> destiny players are tired of being promised we've been getting promised for years and it took them 10 years to capitalize on it like if if they do come out with another saga that shit needs to hit day one bro god Oh, excuse me. I just can't imagine, bro. I don't know, man. I just can't imagine. I don't know what Destiny could do. Like, they should have thought of Destiny. Like, I know they they wanted to treat it as Star Wars, but they shouldn't. Have, the whole wanting to be a multi-game studio. I understand that, but like you, he you don't abandon your baby for that like i'm writing a story i'm not going to abandon my story my my baby that i handcrafted 
because I had the opportunity to make different stories. No, I'm going to continually grow that baby. And, the, you know, I can do little small stuff on the sides here and there. But I'm not going to abandon my main ship. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could send little, like, you make a tiny team, let them grow something off to the side. You send off, you know, uh, scouts and let them do stuff on the side. But you don't abandon your main horse. Like, Bungie abandoned Destiny for Marathon, and Marathon not even out, out the door yet. And it's already just fucking up everything. And Every time I hear about, every time I go to a con or go to somebody that like you know streams or get insider stuff, no, like nobody fucks with it. Every like all around the sentiment, everywhere in the gamer space, like marathon is not it, and I don't want it to suck. But Jesus, what are you supposed to? What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to feel? What are you supposed to think? You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, man. As a Destiny. I just love Destiny, and I wish I wish it was more like Star. I it was supposed to be the video game version of Star Wars, give us stories all the time. And now, like with the main story, like if I was writing Destiny right now, with the main story done, I'm I'm first off, I would un unvault all the story content from the stuff that we bought, like all the original D two stuff. And all those stories, even if you don't want to do the seasonal stuff, like put the cutscenes and stuff back in game. Make the D2 and all the expansions that we had, put that back in game. All the locations from the D, everything that we had, put it back in game. Bring back Leviathan, put that back in game. Who cares if it's old content, whatever. Put that shit back in the game. Second, that way you can make it to where like, if people want to experience all of Destiny, now they can. You still cannot play. You can you cannot buy Destiny One, play through the end, and get on D two and play to the end. You cannot do that. It's Destiny is literally the only game. You just had to be there. Even with Final Fantasy fourteen, it's a ten year game. You can play that bitch from start to finish. All the story is there, everything there. Only thing is probably like armor and shit that's not in the game. But even still, the stuff that you got in the story is there. And that's what I wish Destiny would do. Just keep it there. Who gives a fuck if it's old? Keep it there. Second, you want people to experience the story. You trying to get new people in there. Now it's the time to bring all this new people. Bring all that shit back. And then make it all free. All the way up to you could, you could charge them for life fall and final shape. Bring all that shit back in the game. Every time you get to a season stuff, just make if the cutscenes are there, just put the cutscenes in the game, break, and and then like, or or do what they did. What was those missions where they uh chop like chopped up some of the missions from certain stuff? Like you could put the beginning mission, a middle mission, and just three missions to each each fucking uh season while watching all the cutscenes. Boom, put that shit in the game. Then. When you get to the final shape, make it to where, like, play through with your friends. Get to the raid. Get the raids back lit. Nobody wants to raid and stuff no more. And then just have it to where, like, oh, dang, you just played through all this stuff. Like, give some incentives for new players to want to. Like, people, you can't, I can't even tell nobody to play the game. Because they can't get into it. They don't understand it and shit. And it's just, like, how we, how, we can't do, we can't do shit about it. We can't do nothing about it. It fucking sucks, bro. It fucking sucks. And then just, I don't know, man. I'm just rambling at this point. Like, Destiny's supposed to be Star Wars, bro. It's so much lore content and so much stuff there to where, like, you ain't got to do major expansions. Just do, like, just bring a planet and and be like, we're on this planet for this fucking, for half a year. And and make the point, you know what I'm saying? Especially how they did the traveler, bro. They made the planets as big as the traveler, with all this shit to do in it, man. Just bring the planet, and then like we just find like the missions, and you learn about. They could do stuff now to where like we're traveling the universe now, and we're going on these home planets and planets that we heard about in lore 
trying to figure out what the witness did. Uh, like we have the witnesses pyramid. We can like return planets that he took, you know, from the planetarium. Like you know, restore planets with like the light and dark how to travel it like it's so much stuff they can do like we can go back and restoring the galaxy with all these old fucking civilizations that the witness did you know what i'm saying we can do so much cool shit that the that they're doing in lore we can have it again like make your reasons for like let's just say we go to the home of the elixnes which is the fallen in game and Mithrax and all of them, and we get to with the powers of the light and dark, especially like the, that. I forgot what it's called that we did in Witch Queen, where we could see the memories of the past, and we're on the planet, we could see the memories of all these dead aliens and all these dead uh listening and just like areas and just seeing what happened and what they went through with the witness and stuff, and learning through the history of the, and just using the power that we got in Witch Queen. To see the past and then using the power that we get in fucking um final shape and reconstructing the world back to what it was before the whirlwind and and, and creating and, and doing what the traveler did but with it's so much dope shit that we could do technically in lore <sighs> oh my gosh destiny people y'all let me know what y'all think about this video I'm gonna go on and on, bro. Like, I'm just. I don't know how to feel. I don't know what to think. I wish that. Des Destiny was supposed to be that game that we're like. I don't know, just the sci fi lover in me. When I watch Star Wars, when I watch Dune, well, when I read Dune, now Dune's. A All these space novels and space stories and space books that i read as a kid i saw that all in destiny like i used to want to be a jedi but now i want to be a hunter type shit and it's just like they could do all of that and they don't and you could say limitation of you know limitation of hardware and shit like this and it's just like i can't you can't even use that to an excuse for me you know what i'm saying like the ps5 and the series x are some of the uh the some of the strongest like we we're, we live in a time where tech like consoles and computers are like some of the most powerful machines in the world they can do a bunch of shit bro and they just choose not to and we can say, you know, limitation of well, last, uh, last generation hardware. Cut that shit off, bro. They cut damn 360 and PS3 off years ago. It's time to get, man, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I just, I just know what I wanted from Destiny. And I wish I would have got it. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all later in the next one, man. Peace out.